So part four of this focused gob style practice on this uh, measure 10 uh, gobs, goal oriented backward stepping. Therefore, well, here's how it sounds right now. I can't even play it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> what, what the problem is, I launched into it and I completely forgot to do this little thing right here, which says put the nose right in front of A. I'm actually going to shift my torso for my practice session. So now let's try it. Yeah, but still, what, what's going on? Right. So I can kind of play it, but still not too happy about where I'm at. So gobs means establish the G part first, goal, and this is my goal. Once I know I can play it in the right position, I'll add that G, I'm holding it down, but also I'm holding this guy down, right, so, and then, just holding it down, getting ready to strike that goal. Okay, once I've done that, I'm holding down this F in the left hand, and I'm going to strike down in this diagonal way, the right hand chord. It's okay. Not enough accent. The current dynamic is Mezzo Forte. Rhythm is a little iffy. Mm. Let's say that's not good enough because I'm not holding that chord long enough. That's what I want. All right, let's say we we're going to move on. So I'm holding this down and. As I go up, I go in. I don't like that rhythm. Hmm. Really, it's not easy to strike a single left hand note while something about it. Right. Slow down, easy, but you speed it up, something happens. When I was here, just holding it down, and then when I could hear, go here, it's still better. But now when I'm here, ah, there it is. So going kind of quickly through step by step backwards, I, somehow the mind zoomed in on what the problem is. I can't really describe what my brain is doing or you know how it's controlling my arms, but something about the problem gets sorted out when you do it one after another, bit by bit, backwards like this, and so then suddenly now uh, let's do all four chords or all four eighth notes. So I'm not holding anything down, but I probably want to do this. Come into it from this position. So I practice this second finger extension on my left hand and I might as well put this square right here, just to make it obvious. this F, so I'm actually going to go ahead and add something like this to my score. So it's obvious I'm trying to hold it as, f as long as I can. Yeah, now I'm getting it. Now 
there's a good sustain, I think the rhythm is better. Now, eventually when I'm <laughs> wrapping up this practice series on this measure, I will go back to that um, view I showed, what is it, part two, where I can actually see the MIDI precise timing of each uh, note strike. And that way I can see how good my rhythm actually is. All right, so let's step back to here. Yeah, that's okay. It, it's basically the same. I was, the only difference is before it, I was not holding that E down with finger two. I was just kind of keeping it there. Now I'm holding it down, but the feeling is exactly the same. Okay, I'm really curious what that real tempo, ta 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 ta. Let's let's measure what that is. So that's actually not too bad. It's about 116. The original tempo is 120, but Kapustin plays it at about 116. Somebody like Mark Andre Hamlin plays it, I think, even slower. I don't think this piece has to be super fast, as long as it's got that strong propulsion. It's a G major triad. Probably forgot. Okay, so I'm now going to hold this and go ahead and add a sort of line that shows I should sustain it. Okay, so that's our starting position, right? And I'm getting ready to lead down with my right hand. Let's strike this and get my thumb out of here. So let's Put it all in red. That's not quite. There it is. Okay, so holding this, that's going to be tr tricky. Almost there. Hmm. You can ha you can hear issues starting to creep up. That's where, remember, I always suggest that kind of practice. So now I'm going to stop here. Right, I will do the move, so let me reveal that position change. There it is. Oh, I don't know what I'm... I guess I could go back to showing where I'm practicing from. stopping right there before the last chord. Now actually playing these notes. Mm. Yeah, let's hold the, the second finger here. Ah, don't go on. Right, because my focus is now on just these three things. And now, yeah, needing to remember about that F. interesting coordinating that I'm having to do here. Mm -mm. There you go. And then this was easy I, as far as I remember. Okay. Now holding this D. Yeah, just holding the D first. Uh, third, uh, D with first finger, second point in here. It's easier to let go and just go into this position, isn't it? But I think you start to lose that uh, sustained versus staccato um, texture. I'm doing 
this and then from here that difficult leap in the right hand hard well at least what I can say is I've advanced further than I did in my previous parts so there is definitely progress I'm getting it I'm within the microcosm of this little measure I'm kind of addressing a lot of the issues in the rest of the piece so I think it's a pretty important thing to get as correct as possible but anyway I'm not sure if I can record for the next couple of days because of some things uh, remodeling things in this room so when I come back to it, we'll see what state my hands are in at that point. <laughs>